Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to analyze fixed beams with Comsol Multiphysics. So you can see I have already added this prerequisites, and so it will save our time. And first, I'll change the length unit, which will be in millimeters. And let me draw a beam. For drawing, we have to go to Geometry tab and for a rectangular block I'll select that and I'll keep the width to 10 uh, depth to 20 depth is also sometimes told as height of the cross section and here height means actually the length of the beam which I'll take uh, 500 millimeters and click on build selected so you can see our geometry is complete I'll zoom extends for a better view so this is just the uh, normal rectangular beam and let's move on now we'll select materials and from materials we'll add material and from that I select structural steel you can select any other material if you like to see how it behaves i have selected still because it's most common and click on close so this is our model geometry after material has been added so you can see the values of the properties the two main young's modulus and poisons ratio already being populated here automatically and I'll move on to domain of our study so here let's first do the boundary conditions so as you can see now all the six faces are free there has been no constraints applied since we are doing analysis on fixed beam and we will select a fixed constraint from here so I'll right click on solid mechanics and click on fixed constraint and we'll apply fixed constraint to both the end faces one is here and one is here so guys I have made a video on analysis of cantilever as well where we have kept one side fixed and that is the requirement for a cantilever you can check that out I'll give the link in the description so now let's move on let us add any so now let's move on let us add here the load so I generally prefer uniformly distributed load so I'll go to boundary load and apply the load on this face and I'll now give the magnitude if I take uh, uniformly distributed load of 1 Newton per millimeter so the total force would be 500 so now our load is given as well so now we will move on to mesh and click on build selected so our mesh is complete I'll move on to study and compute <coughs> see our study has been completed wow. so grab a strength of materials book and see there what is the deflection curve for a fixed beam you will find the exact same profile for deflection in a fixed beam and what we can derive from the results is that for fixed beams the maximum stress will always be generated at the fixed ends or where the reactions are which is very obvious and also the deflection will be somewhere in the middle on uh, by deflection I mean the maximum deflection so what we see here is uh, basically a stress plot which gives a maximum value of this and a minimum value of this 
but we also need one more variable or a parameter which is our deflection so for getting deflection plot we will select here replace expression and go to solid mechanics and click on displacement then click on displacement field and then y component of displacement because we have given y uh, a load in the y direction so i'll press enter here see the expressions have changed and i'll click on plot and you will find that the maximum deflection here which is a value of 0 0.123 millimeter so i'll uh, tell you one thing to check this value and uh, means how you can check this value is you will find the for formula for getting the deflection of this kind of beams with uniformly distributed load in your strength of materials book and there will uh, be some error in this means like an error of 0.001% which is negligible and the error will generally be generally due to the assumptions that we take during analysis in theory classes so I'll give the formula for mm, getting the deflection or the maximum deflection for this kind of beams in the description box you can check that out and find it and tell me in the comment box what is the value with the help of formula so this concludes our session for fixed beam analysis in the next video we'll see how moment of inertia plays a vital role in beam analysis so thank you